So today I'm going to take you step by step on a complete guide to utilizing the Acorns investing app. So I'm going to teach you all the different features and functionalities of the app. You can see right over here in real time. So we're actually going to switch over just to the screen itself so I can focus more on the actual screen so you can see what's going on here with what we're talking about. Now, if for any reason you do not already have an Acorns account and you do want to sign up, I'll have a special link in the show notes down below that gets a, a nice $20 bonus. And it does help support us out here on the channel so we can make more free content just like this. So first and foremost, we're currently here on the main page of our Acorns account. Now we're currently using an iPhone. Typically, you're gonna see a lot of similarities with an Android version of this as well. Sometimes the location of the icons might be in different spots. So the first thing you're actually gonna see is the current valuation of your overall account portfolio, which with this account is $52.14. Now, first and foremost, there's an area here that says where you can actually view your potential. What this effectively means is when you click on here, it's gonna show you based off how much you're putting into the account every single week or month that this is going to grow. Now, this is, of course, hypothetical, and this is based off of what we currently have reoccurring in the account, which, of course, we're going to show you in our step-by-step -step guide here today on how to make sure you have everything structured properly. Now, from right over here, you can see based off of what we're putting in, we are projected to make about $225,000 by the age of 74 in this account. Now, this is not our main account. This is just a demo account for us to be able to show you some of these different features and benefits. Now, speaking of actually setting things in here to actually have money reoccurring in here, you can see at the very bottom of this section, you're going to see where it says reoccurring, and it's currently $20 every single week. And then we also have a roundup feature, which we're going to be talking about here a little bit more. So what we're going to do is actually go back to the main page here. Now, back here on the main page, we're going to see where it says invest. And this is going to be the main section of where we're going to actually have impact on our account. Now, depending on the version of the account that you have, you're going to have additional features available for you. So before we actually go into the invest section, I want to go back up to the profile account here. Now, from this section here, you're going to see your name. And then what we're going to want to do is actually go over down here to our settings. And in our settings, we're actually going to want to see which subscription we have. Maybe you signed up when you went through this process, or you might not have realized which one you signed up for. So we're going to click on my subscription. And here you're going to see the different tiers that are available for us. Now, we're currently on the personal tier. So we currently are paying $3 every single month. Now, of course, there are some additional versions of this. So what we're going to do is look at the uh, change tier right over here so we can see the different features and benefits. And the reason we want to talk about this is, again, either A, the different features that you might have access to or don't have access to, or B, if you're going to be signing up, which one would work best for you. So the first thing here is going to be with the personal account. This one is where you can actually invest uh, in a personal diversified investing account. You could do the roundup feature, which we'll be talking about here. You can also set up a retirement account as well if you wanted to. Now, some of the other features that they do have available won't be here for the personal. You can see the X's on them, but we'll talk about them in the other tiers. And then in the banking aspect for just the regular $3 fee, you're going to see here it says all digital banking with no hidden fees. You also get a debit card that invests with every swipe. And then you also get auto invest uh, for a piece of each paycheck. Then there's also the earnings and then the educational pieces as well. Those are additional things that you'll get for that that are just not as directly towards the investing aspect, but still included with the actual features and benefits of the tiers. Now here in the personal plus, you're going to actually see pretty much everything here except for the families for the most part and some of the investing are not checked off here. So you can see pretty much everything is going to be the same as far as the investing aspect for it. The banking, you are going to get a few additional features like also having an emergency fund and then you will get some additional bonuses for earnings and all the additional education pieces are up. Now this tier right now as of this recording is going to be $5 a month. And then if we go to the premium, this one is going to be $9 here and this is going to unlock everything for you. So this one you can actually invest with kids. So if you have some kids and you want to have a custodial account, you do need to have the premium version for this. You could also invest with individual accounts it's instead of going with an overall fund. If you are somebody who is wanting to be a little bit more diversified from the actual things that you're choosing to have in your account, this might be for you. If you're somebody who just wants to kind of set in for get it, the personal or personal plus would still work for you. Again, if you're looking with additional family members, you will be needing that premium. The nice thing is you will get a complimentary will as well as $10,000 in life insurance for eligible customers. So now with that being said, once you have chosen whichever option is going to work best for you, we're going to go in and go through all the different setups for having our account up and running. Now, keeping in mind that this account we're utilizing is a personal account. So the one aspect we're not going to be able to do with the investing is going to be with individual stocks, but you'll still see the opportunity to be able to do that here on this video today. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back over here. And then what we're gonna keep doing is keep going back 
and going back one more time, taking us back here to the main page of our app. Now, partially what we want to do here on the main page of the app is actually kind of show you some of the important settings. And we're actually going to go back to where we just were, because even though focusing in on the investing aspect, there are some things we want to make sure we have in place for it, one of which is going to be making sure we have a bank account on file. So now that we're back here on the main page, we're actually going to go through back to our profile account here too. We just want to kind of take you step by step on all of these, just so we're not missing anything when it comes to going through and getting to a certain section of the app. So from back here, we're going to actually go to the settings once again. And then what we're going to actually want to do is go to linked accounts. And then from here, this is where we're going to be able to see which accounts we have on file. Now you can actually have multiple accounts, which is really nice because they do have the roundup feature, which again, we'll be talking about here as well. And what this is going to do is allow us to have money being pulled in from multiple different types of accounts. Although when it comes to your main weekly monthly deposits, that's going to be your primary checking account that you will have on file. And you can see where it has it toggled to allow transfers. If we tap on the other one, which is our SoFi, we actually have what we call that roundup feature available on all of our accounts, which means when we use debit cards for that, it will round up to the nearest dollar and allow us to have that money invested in there as well. We're going to, of course, unlink this as well if we needed to, but because we want to have as much money coming into our account, we're going to have all of these connected. All right, so let's head back over to our settings right over here. Of course, you can uh, change any notifications if you need to. And then in here, you also have your security to change your password, change your login pin, enable face ID if you'd like to, or do two factor authentication if you want to utilize another security method for you to be able to have all that set together. All right, so once again, we are now back here on the main page of our Acorns account, and we're gonna actually go into the invest tab right over here. Now we currently have that $52.14 in here, keeping in mind that this total is equaled out to the same one here at the top because we only have one account attached. Now there's also something called later, which this is going to be if you have your retirement set up here and these two numbers are separated, this will equal out the total. Same thing with your checking will equal out the total value up here as well. So everything here will be split individually if you have these accounts open, as well as this equaling everything in total. So here, let's go ahead and jump into the invest tab. And this is gonna take us into our investing page. Now, when we go in here, you're gonna see this little chart here. Now, because this is a demo account, we don't have a lot of money in this account, but what we can do is toggle on this little piece right here and it'll open up an area where we can actually have toggled in the one day, the one month, the year to date, the one year, five years and all. And what this is gonna show us is how much we've actually gained or lost in an entirety for that time frame, And it'll tell you the dollar amount that it's down or up and then the total that it's again down or up depending on the overall market. Now in this screen, if you actually do slide down, it does show you your investments, which later on we will actually go ahead and go and break this down a little bit more. Uh, there's gonna be a breakdown here with how much you have in stocks, how much you have in bonds, and then again, your total with your actual net investments, gains or losses, and then your total account value right over here. So we're gonna click on the X over here on the top left and go back into the main investing side of things here so we can kind of break things more down altogether. So you're gonna see the section here that it's called Roundup. We kind of talked a little bit about this earlier. So Roundup allows you to have your money pretty much rounded up to the nearest dollar. So that way, when you are using a certain debit card, it will be able to pull that money in and be able to have that account get transferred or that amount get transferred into this account. So you can actually see here some of the different transactions that we had. This one right over here for Prudential, right, is $42.75. So an extra 25 cents got pulled from that transaction to be able to be added in here. Now it does do it typically in a total of $5. So after it builds up enough of those transactions, it will have that money invested in there. You can see right over here, all the different rounds ups that it's gonna do for us. So that way it can do that. It even does it with its own investment. So when it pulls money, into this account, it actually still does that roundup. So it's just a couple extra cents here and there that will just kind of add up for you over time. You do not need to have this feature turned on. You can actually have it off if you would like to, and you can actually have it pulled from again, multiple accounts like we talked about earlier, where you can have different accounts connected. It'll tell you the also number of times it's uh, invested. If you keep swiping, it'll tell you the total roundup that it's done. And if you keep swiping, it'll just have you learn a little bit more. So from here, you could either go into the gearbox to go into the roundup settings, but for for a quick example, if we close this off for just one moment, there is also going to be the roundup settings right over here. So if we tap into this section, this is going to allow us to either turn on or off the roundup if we already have it toggled. So we can see right here, if we toggle this, it'll be currently off. If we have it toggled on, it'll be set up for us. Now, because we already have it on here, it doesn't have the save highlighted. So just something to keep in mind. 
Here you can actually go ahead and do roundups to an entire dollar if you wanted to, and you can even do a multiplier, meaning if something gets charged for 20 cents, it'll actually pull out 40 cents for you. And then it'll show all the accounts that are linked to this. So again, you can have multiple accounts. You can maybe have just one account, whatever works best for you. And if everything looks good, you can click on save. So next up here on this section is actually going to be our one-time deposit. So if for any reason you want to go ahead and deposit more money into this investment, let's say you got like a bonus or some additional money, you can go ahead and do this where you can choose, let's say $10 to be invested and it will choose your priority account on file. But if you wanted to tap over here, you can actually choose a different account if you have multiple bank accounts on file. Now, once you go ahead and hit done on here, you can click on review. And then it'll tell you kind of like a little quick update on how much you want, when you're going to have it, and then when or where it's coming from. And if everything looks good, you can click on invest $10. And just like that, our $10 now will be deposited into our account. On the top right over here, you're actually going to see a little pending transaction now coming in. So you can actually see the different transactions that are going to be happening, especially if you're doing one-time transactions that will be set there for you. Again, we will be talking a little bit more about reoccurring transactions here in a second, as you can see down in this bottom section. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about withdrawals. So the withdrawal section here, this effectively is just having you pause your actual investments. So you can pause the investment or you can continue uh, to just withdraw. So just depending on what you are looking for, because we're typically going to be setting things up as a automatic deposits we pretty much wanna make sure that either we're pausing this or we're actually just continuing to withdraw. So if we're gonna to wanna to be taking a large sum of money out, but still knowing that we're gonna be potting in, you know, 10, 20, $30 a week, we could just hit continue to withdraw here at the bottom, or we can do the full pause if we actually need to hold off on investments. So whichever option works for you, of course, is gonna be good. We're gonna click on continue to withdraw, just so you can see here, very similar to how we did with our actual one-time deposit. We can choose the amount we need to, and then where it's going to be uh, withdrawing from uh, or into, I should say, and then we can click on review and go through those very similar steps. All right, so let's go back over here, going back to the main page here now. And what we're going to do is go to the reoccurring section of this page. Now, from here, this is where kind of the bread and butter of Acorns is, not having to really worry about your investments, kind of having everything set in place. First and foremost, it's going to ask you how much you want to be investing. Minimum will be that $5, as you can see, but doing $20 will allow us to grow. If you actually go to the top little section right over here, you're going to see this plus $0 in here and you're going to see this change really quick if we actually move this to $25 you can see the increased potential amount that we have by just increasing an additional $5 and if you actually tap on here it'll bring up a little menu to show you how that extra $5 is going to have an impact but because we're already doing 20 this is now in total what we're going to have based off of what we're currently doing so it's really nice to kind of see that actual impact that just $5 can have over the next couple of years when it comes to our investments so in this graph here you can actually see it says this increases your potential from 84,915 to about $106,069 by the age of 64. Now, of course, they are going by potential and they're just going by averages, nothing that is guaranteed when it comes to the market. So if we close this, and I'm just going to give one more example, if we go to, let's say, 50 five dollars every single week you can see that impact right over here now i am saying on a weekly basis but there are actually different opportunities for you to have this in different increments so once everything looks good you can hit set reoccurring amount since we're good with the amount that's actually coming into this account we'll go back one step and you can see here when it says when if we're going to tap over here where it says monday and this is where we're going to be able to have again a different change in it so currently this is cycled for 20 dollars every single month you can have this due day week or month and what day of the week we want to have this happen if we tap over on month then we can choose the day of the month so let's say we want to do the 15th of every month and then obviously because we're switching from weekly to monthly that would have a significant impact on how much potentially we're going to have our account grow now of course we can also do on a day basis we can go daily if we wanted to as well it shows how much of that potential increase we'd have obviously doing twenty dollars a day would have a massive increase on the total if we go back to the week here we can choose whichever day of the week and we'll have it all set for us now we can click on update once we choose that to have it run for us and of course as you saw here you can come back in at any time and you can change this in real time to have that impact and you'll see the different changes here on your settings based off of what you're putting in and how often you're going to be in 
investing. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back over to the section over here with investing. And we're gonna scroll down here just a little bit and you're gonna see a thing saying your portfolio. Now you might not have anything chosen yet at this point because you might still have to choose the investments that your money is going into. And currently with this account, we actually have it on risk for uh, aggressive and then our theme is core and I'm gonna break that down here a little bit for us as well too. So you have a better understanding of what that means and they do a really good job of explaining that for you as well too. And if you have the premium version as well too, you can do individual stocks. So you can do companies like Google, Amazon, Netflix. You could even do smaller companies as well too that are available for the stock market. And then what we're gonna wanna do is keep scrolling down. You're gonna see a couple different features here as well too, where it talks about all the income that you've made, all the dividends that you've earned, any rewards that you've gotten, any referrals that you might've had, and then anything that's been reoccurring with your account. Now, what we're gonna do is go back up here to where we saw our portfolio, and there's this little icon right over here towards the top we're gonna go ahead and tap on. And this is gonna show our actual investment. So what we're gonna see here is what companies we're effectively invested in, and by companies, I actually mean ETFs, and what type of ETFs they are invested in. So you can see here, we have large company stocks, which is about 55%. I don't actually choose these. This is just based off of the portfolio type I chose, and I'll show you here in a second how that kind of breaks it all down. So you can see all the different formats of investing. And if you actually click on these sections individually, it'll kind of break these down just a little bit more for you if you want to learn more. But honestly, at the same time, if you're somebody who just wants to kind of set it and forget it, they do a really, really good job with this. So going back here to your, towards your investments, there's a, a edit button here at the very top right. So if we tap on here, you're gonna see a couple different options here for us as well. Now this might look a little overwhelming at first, but what we're gonna do is break this down. So here you're gonna see where it says Bitcoin. If you are interested in doing something like that, you most definitely can. What we're gonna do is look at a couple different things here. So there's the risk area and then there's the portfolio theme. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna to go to the portfolio theme just to show you here the uh, uh, two different options for you. The first option is just a core portfolio, which allows you to invest in ETFs. So the best way to explain ETFs is essentially just a group of companies all put together into one fund. So that way you could be very diversified while being able to invest and not have to pay full attention on a day-to-day -day basis. So their options are the core portfolio, which is regular ETFs or ESG portfolios, which essentially allows you to invest in environmental, social, or government issues. So that you can actually focus in your money into certain different areas. You have course can learn more if you wanted to. So it's going to have a set to the core portfolios. So we're going to go ahead then and go ahead and hit the back left button here. And we're going to go back to our edit for a second and go to the risk section. This is going to be kind of like the bread and butter of choosing your type of account. Now, what's really nice is here at the top, it actually gives you all the different settings for us. So we're currently on aggressive. If we actually tap over here on the one right to the left of that, you're going to see moderately aggressive. Then the middle one is moderate. Then it's moderately conservative. And then there is conservative. Now, just kind of breaking these down, you saw the chart right there kind of change as we were going clicking over them. So you can see here. This conservative one is 100% bonds. Bonds are relatively safer when it comes to investments, meaning it's not gonna have a lot of fluctuations. So when the market is down pretty heavily, bonds tend to not go down as much. But when the market is up pretty significantly, bonds tend to be not as high in that regard. So something to keep in mind, typically the older you're getting, the more likely you're gonna be in a conservative area, where if you're quite a bit younger, being in a more aggressive might be more advantageous for you, of course go based off of your own risk tolerance. If you wanted to look at the overview right over here, you can see kind of what they talk about and considerations as well too, if you wanted to have those risks to reward kind of scenarios as well too. So they actually do a really good job of breaking those down. So for a lot of people, they might be looking at aggressive, moderately aggressive, or the moderate. So again, for our account here and for all of our intense purposes, we're looking at doing the more aggressive route because we wanna have that growth for quite a few years and be able to see the impact that this actually has for us. So if everything looks good, the bottom would be highlighted. You can see here it says change to this portfolio if you don't already have it. Since we already are on aggressive, it won't have anything changed for us. So we'll just go ahead and head back. Now, again, if you are somebody who wants to invest in individual stocks, uh, such as adding you know, Disney or any of those other companies, you can go ahead and tap right over here. And if you don't already have premium, it will let you know to upgrade to premium to be able to do those. But if you wanna just go ahead and keep it with you know everything that they already offer you in the base version of this for the $3, you're gonna be good to go with that original setting with 
choosing your portfolio type. And another thing to keep in mind when it comes to our overall portfolio, we saw earlier when we were changing the reoccurring amount and you saw at the top right where that number was changing, that number would also change based off of whatever portfolio risk type that you actually have. So the more like conservative or moderate you are, the smaller amount that growth will have potential to grow because the aggressive will have the most likely to have the highest returns in the long run. So just something to kind of keep in mind when choosing your risk type as well as how much you're putting in. Now back here on the main page of Acorns, we're gonna see that section that says later. If you click on setup, this is gonna allow you to set up your retirement account as well. So if you're somebody who wants to set up an IRA, you can actually do it directly from this account with just the base version of this. So of course you can go through all the additional steps. It'll ask you a few extra questions if you've already set up your account, or if you haven't yet set up your account, it'll still go through this process to be able to ask those questions after already setting up with all the original Acorn questions. Now from here, of course, you're gonna just follow the same rules when it comes to setting up your investments. There will be, of course, limitations on how much you can put into a retirement account based off the IRS. As of 2024, it's about $7,000 it's actually seven thousand dollars for anybody under the age of 50 and then it's another thousand dollars above that if you're over the age of 50. Now we're gonna go ahead and close that off here for just a second. So next up here is going to be with the checking. If you actually wanted to open up a checking, this is included with the base version of it. You can actually earn up to 3% as of this recording when it comes to the APY on the account for the money that's sitting in there. You would get a Visa debit card as well as some of the additional bonuses that you get for spending money at certain locations, which we'll show you here in just a second and how that works to get more money into your Acorns account. Now it's very easy to go ahead and open the account. You can just click on claim yours. That's gonna take you through a few additional steps to to be able to go through that. Now, if you are somebody who opened up an Acorns account to be able to also have access to open up a custodial account, what we want to do is actually go over to the investing tab here towards the bottom side of the screen here. And it's going to take us to another page here for us. And this is going to allow us to scroll down here and see where it says early accounts. And this is where we're going to be able to go ahead and actually open up an investing account for a custodial. So this is really nice. It will pretty much be a very similar process when it comes to opening up your own Acorns account. Of course, we do need that premium version, which is the $9 a month as of this recording. And the nice thing is this will be able to have younger kids actually getting started with investing, which is a beautiful thing. So you can just click on the next button down here and go through the following steps. And then it'll be very similar on the other end when it comes to actually having their investments set up with reoccurring accounts, as well as what they can be invested in. So the next section here is going to be on the bottom right hand side, we're actually going to be looking at the earnings tab and the earnings tab is actually pretty unique. So this is going to allow you to make additional money, whether you're going to be utilizing the debit card that it comes with, which I'll show you how to earn some from that, as well as just doing additional purchases that you would normally be buying. And what's really interesting is that you can see here, it'll actually have you either by percentage of what you're buying or by an exact dollar amount when it comes to spending the money there. So you can see if you're buying something from like Walmart, you can get 1% invested. And there are gonna be some limitations to keep in mind. Same thing with like Instacart, it'll be a $2 investment. If you go to Safeway, 2%. And then like something like Apple, you get 1.5%. So just to kind of give you an idea, if we hop over here, you can see 1.5%. There are of course some terms that we have to make sure um, you can tap on exclusions and see what's excluded from this, such as like the latest iPhone. Overall, if you are going to be buying something and they are available there, this is just a really nice way to be able to earn a little bit of extra money for the money that you will be spending. So if you click on shop now, it'll take you to the Apple store. Now that it's connected to you, you'll actually get that one and a half percent back as long as it's nothing on the exclusion list. And that money will go directly into your Acorns account and be able to be invested right away, which is a really great unique way to actually earn a little bit of money and have it go right into investments. Now, if you have have the rewards card as well too, which of course doesn't cost you anything more than the original cost of the actual membership. We can actually slide here towards the bottom right here and you can see linked card rewards. So you can see all the different features that you're gonna have available for you. So if you go to Chevron, you can get an extra 50 cents invested using your debit card, as well as all of these other sites like 5%, $5, all these different ways to be able to earn more. You can even search for rewards too, so you can see if maybe your favorite companies are on here to be able to earn those rewards. Now, next up here, you can see there is a learning tab. If you tap over here, this will actually give you some ideas and learnings with stories about how to best invest, how to best focus on your money. So you can actually see here, uh, there's sections up here at the top. If you go ahead and tap on these, it'll take you to different stories that will help benefit you and some different types of courses when it comes to learning more about the market. 
Now, next up on this is going to be with the banking side of things when it comes to Acorns. If you hadn't already clicked on the checking, this is where you can go ahead and sign up and or if you have your account up and running, you can see your actual checking account put together as well as the APY that you're earning. You'll also have the opportunity to do an emergency fund if you have that higher account. And this allows you to go ahead and save a little bit more money. You can actually have essentially its own account on the side. So it's not being pulled from like a debit card if you didn't want to. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go ahead and invite you to check out the link in the show notes down below for you to go ahead and sign up for Acorns right away. You get that $20 bonus for using our link as well as helping support out this channel so we make more free content just like this for you. Now, speaking of free content, I'm going to have my next video right over here to keep on watching and learning about your finances.